Hey guys, quick video. I got a question saying that someone got a parrotlet. I don't know how old the parrotlet is. I did ask and said that the parrotlet's like scared of them. You know, how long, the question is how long will it take for the parrotlet to become friendly and get comfortable with me? I am Kaylin, the author of The Parrot Bliss Bond and I have some other phenomenal books that no doubt you need to have. They're on Amazon, watch the reel at the end or check out the links below to find out about that. Uh, I have over 22 uh, parrots. Uh, my parrots are my bliss. I just love uh, my different species of parrots. Let's talk parrot lets. Uh, so uh, these little guys are something else. Uh, parrot lets, you know, at one point, it's funny. Uh, people said that they're like little uh, Amazons. They uh, are in the sense that like my normal sized Amazon, uh, they have that short tail. Um, uh, they kind of have the uh, same uh, rounded body and they have the same gusto. Uh, Parrotlets are like little Napoleons. Uh -huh. They're just really uh, uh -huh. feisty and uh -huh. and stubborn and stuff uh -huh. like that. So uh -huh. one thing about uh -huh. parrotlets, uh -huh. shh, uh -huh. I know you're trying to talk too, aren't you? One thing about uh -huh. parrotlets is that uh -huh. just like any uh -huh. other um, uh -huh. parrot or uh -huh. really creature, uh -huh. one of the things that happens with parrotlets is that uh, uh -huh. Some of how long it'll take them to adjust has everything to do with uh -huh. their individual personality and their age. Uh -huh. A young parrotlet is going to adjust faster. Uh -huh. An older parrotlet may not adjust uh -huh. because uh -huh. you know how that uh -huh. goes. The, when you're young, you, you don't have as much uh -huh. experience and as much perception of things, as much of an opinion of people, that kind of thing. Uh -huh. When a parrotlet is older, they already have experience, they already have preconceptions about people. So like if they already don't really like people or they've never really bonded with people, they don't, they don't know as well that that can change, that they can have a different experience. So age is gonna be a really major contributor. Of course, what's happened in their past is gonna be really major because if they had someone who really loved them, they would probably already be friendly. Like if someone loved them and spent a lot of time with them. If that's not the case, then it sort of depends, again, in part right. on their individual personality. Now, right. if I had a parrotlet and I was in that right. position where uh, regardless right. of the age, I had a parrotlet that wasn't as friendly as I wanted it to be. Uh, and if it had already been a little while and it didn't seem to be getting more comfortable and more friendly with me, then right. I would try to get a second parrotlet right. and um, make sure right. that it's friendly or young, because sometimes right. it's hard to adopt a friendly adult. Right. If you get a young one, you know, I would really bond right. with it. They right. will have to be kept separate right. because the adult could hurt the young right. one. So right. you have to wait until the young one is right. about the same age. And with right. parrotlets, that's gonna be somewhere right. between eight to 12 months. Once right. they're adults, you could put them together. Right. But, uh, um, and you do want to put them together and have them bond. Uh, but the most important thing is I would make sure that uh, I had a relationship uh, with the second parrotlet. Because if the uh, second parrotlet is nice and uh, friendly and gets along with me, uh, it uh, will teach the first parrotlet that I'm not so bad, the bonding with me isn't so bad, that maybe it's actually even a little uh, bit of fun. So that second parrotlet is gonna solve two problems. Number one, if your uh, primary parrotlet never uh, is able to bond with you, they just don't know uh, how, or uh, they've learned that people aren't good, uh, then they're gonna be uh, a companion for that first parrotlet. Uh, so they're solving the problem of keeping the first parrotlet happy. The second problem they're solving, uh, of course, is the one of uh, um, me wanting to bond, because like I said, uh, then I get to bond uh, with the parrotlet, but more than that, shh, uh, shh, shh, more than that, they're very likely to teach the first one that I'm not so bad. Now, that second parrotlet may just become friendlier and come close or may sit on my shoulder just like the first one. But like I said, the real key is taking the second parrotlet, this, the new one, making sure that it's friendly or getting a young one so that you can really create a nice bond and in this way, create a great experience for all three of you. I hope that shifts how you perceive um, like a rescue or, or rehoming a parrot because it's not just parrotlets that don't get along. It doesn't apply for a few species that aren't as social, but generally speaking, your Conyers, your Amazon, like most parrots it applies to, so that you and your new parrot have a great experience by getting a third parrot. Um, now, 
please make sure uh, to watch my reels uh, so that you could see some of my offerings, like uh, my books and my coloring books, available on Amazon. Check out the link below, or uh, you can um, uh, watch the reel. And thank you so uh, much for watching. If you have any uh, questions or comments, please post them below. It helps my juice, helps uh, my channel, and I love uh, great content. See you uh, in the next interrupting video here. Thanks. Bye. Uh -huh.